In this video, I will show you how to determine if two matrices are inverses of each other. If I were to multiply these two matrices together, and I got the identity matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1, that would mean that these two matrices are inverses of each other. So if I get anything else, then I will say no, they are not inverses of each other. So that's all we really need to do, is multiply these two matrices together and see what we get. Um, of course, this is a two by two matrix, and this is also a two by two matrix. So uh, we know that this multiplication is possible because the inner dimensions are the same. The outer dimensions tell us uh, the dimensions of our final answer. So um, our final answer will be a two by two matrix, of course. So let's go ahead and set up an empty two by two matrix in which we will do our calculations. So here's our empty two by two matrix. We have learned that the rows always come from the first matrix while the columns always come from the second matrix. Okay, so the first row goes in the first row. So the first row is 4, 3. So I'm going to put 4, 3 all across the first row. 4, 3 and 4, 3. Now let's do the second row. The second row is 4, 2. So I'm going to put 4, 2 in the second row. The second row belongs in the second row. All right, all the way across the second row. So 4, 2, 4, 2. Now let's do columns. This is my first column. The first column belongs in the first column. So that means here and also here. This is the second column. The second column goes in the second column. So that's why I'm going to put negative 3, 6 here and here. So now I just multiply and add. So if I multiply here, I'm going to get 8. Multiplying here, I get negative 12. If I add those up, I get negative 4. Multiply here, I get negative 12. Multiply here, I get 18. Add them up, that's 6. Multiply here, I get 8. Multiply here, I get negative 8. Add them up, that's 0. Multiply here, I'm going to get negative 12. Multiply here, I'm going to get positive 12. Add them up, I'm going to get 0. Okay, this gives us the product matrix negative 4, 6, 0, 0. This is not the identity matrix, so these are not inverses. So for my final answer, I will just say no. Are these inverses? No, they are not inverses. So really, I could have stopped as soon as I saw that negative 4. Um, I already knew that it was going to be no. So maybe on the next problem, I'll stop the first time I don't get 1, 0, 0, 1. If I'm not seeing that in a single entry, I will stop. Let's do another example. Again, we're just going to multiply these together and see if we get the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. If we do, then they are inverses. If we don't, they are not. So this is obviously going to give us a 2 by 2 matrix. So uh, let's go ahead and just set up for the 2 by 2 matrix. Remember that rows come from the first matrix and we, we will get our columns from the second matrix. 
So this is row one. And of course, row one goes across row one. It makes sense. Row one goes throughout row one. So that's why I'm going to put row one here and here. Okay, this is row two. I'm going to put row two throughout row two. So three, four will go here and here. All across row two. Now it's time for the columns. This is column one. I will put column one down column one. So negative two and three halves will go here and also here. Now it's time for column two. Column two will go all down column two. So one and negative one half will go here and also here. So I'm going to multiply and add. If I multiply these, I'm going to get negative two. If I multiply these, I'm going to get three. If I add these up, I get one. All right, by the way, when I did two times three over two just now, two times three halves, um, in my mind, I just canceled out these twos. That's how I knew it would be three. Um, if I multiply these, uh, one times one is one. Two times negative one half is negative one add them up, you get zero. Again, when I did two times negative one half, I just canceled out these twos. That gave me negative one. If I multiply these across, I'm going to get negative six. If I multiply these, I'm going to get positive six. And that gives me zero. So just now I multiplied four times three over two. But what I did was I remembered that two goes into four twice and then two times three is six. Now if I multiply these, three times one is three. Four times negative one half. Well half of four is two. So this will be negative two. And if I add these up, I get one. All right, so the final product is one, zero, zero, one. That is the identity matrix, so we will say yes. These two matrices are inverses of each other. Let's do one more. Again, we will multiply these two matrices and then we will check to see if it gives us the identity matrix. If it does, then they are inverses. If it doesn't, they are not. So a two by two matrix times a two by two matrix will be a two by two matrix. So I'm gonna set up a large empty two by two matrix in order to show my work. Now we know that the rows always come from the first matrix while the columns always come from the second matrix. This is row one. Row one will go across row one. So that's why I'll put four zero here and here. This is row two. Row two will go across row two. So I'll put zero three here and here. Now it's time for the columns. This is column one. Column one will go down column one. So I have one fourth and zero here and here. This is column two. Column two will go down column two. So I'll have zero and one third here and here. All right, finally I multiply 
and add. If I multiply these together, I'm going to get 1 and 0. If I add them up, I've got 1. If I multiply here, I'm going to get 0 and 0. Together, they make 0. Here, I'm going to multiply, I get 0 and 0. Add them up, you get 0. If I multiply here, I'm going to get 0 and 1. Add them up, and I get 1. So, the product matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. The identity matrix. So that means, yes, once again, these two matrices are inverses of each other. So that's how you can tell whether or not two matrices are inverses of each other. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.